currently in the elevator going to the 14th floor uh, where my friend lives. My friend uh, Mika is not here, he's back in France. Uh, he used to be my volleyball coach, which is crazy. But uh, yeah, he's letting me crash at his place with his roommates, so I'm excited. <laughs> Hello everybody, beautiful sunny Singapore. I've arrived yesterday at my friend's flat, spent some time uh, helping him and his housemates out because uh, they're having some trouble, they had a water leak, so they had to fix it. Um, but yeah, I've arrived, they live in the dead in the center, which is amazing, and uh, I, I'm on my way to get some cash, get some food, uh, explore a little bit, book my ticket to see Planet of the Apes at the cinema. I'm excited and uh, yeah, everything here is just unreal and beautiful. I'm lucky enough to be in the center. So this building over there is the parliament. This building over there, 14th floor, wherever that is, that's the one that I'm in. You can see the iconic Marina Bay Sands over there. The, uh, the boat <laughs> and the little boat. Alright, so back from the cinema, uh, so I went for lunch at a local Chinese place that does uh, the famous Singaporean chicken rice. First, first time having it, it was absolutely delicious and super cheap, which was lovely. Um, then I went to the local toy museum, uh, which was just next to it. Uh, tiny place, it, was, uh, it wasn't really expensive, but it was really nice. And then uh, went over here to the mall uh, to hang out and check it out because I've heard about the, uh, the shopping life in Singapore um, and also to go to the cinema. I finally managed to uh, catch War for the Planet of the Apes which I really wanted to see and it was a great movie. Um, really great watch, I had a, a really good time there. Just heading back, I'm gonna drop my stuff, talk with Shana and then uh, I'm going to a concert tonight. literally just about to say how compared to Dubai this feels less decadent but there's still some beautiful decadent things around. It's kind of funny because uh, I think the Singapore Grand Prix Formula 1 is in a couple of weeks so they're already starting to set up stuff on the side of the roads. Um, similar to the Monaco Grand Prix, it's one of those that happens in the city and it's a big deal over here. You can, you can see that some of the stuff is like protected already uh, in place for the, the race. This beautiful building right there next to me is the Singaporean Singaporean Parliament. Yep. It is uh, 20 past 1, uh, I just finished working on something so I'm gonna go take a break and get some done. It is starting to get pretty hot here. <laughs> so yeah, I think uh, lunch is gonna be good. And then probably coming back here to, uh, to work some more. Today is Thursday, I didn't work too much yesterday and I'd like to explore more tomorrow so I think if I dedicate today to work, that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good thing. The concert last night was really, really awesome and I'm still not over like the modernity and the architecture in this in this city slash in this country, state, um, city-state. It's uh, 
Like honestly, if anyone has seen Star Wars, uh, especially the first trilogy, I know it's not the best, but blah blah blah. Chronologically, first trilogy of episode one, two, and three, um, they have this capital city slash country slash planet, which is called Coruscant, and Coruscant has like structures with the Jedi temple and everything, and this reminds me of this building over there. Reminds me of this. Ah, this is right outside the apartment. It's called Clark Case and it's beautiful. It is Friday today, I am on my way to lunch and then I'm gonna go around the city to see some exhibitions. Okay, that exhibition was great. It's not an artist that I'm familiar with, but her work is really impressive and immersive too. So yeah, now that this is over, I'm gonna go get a bottle of water, find a way to get transportation over to Orchard Road. I uh, took the metro to come here, it was very, very convenient. Um, all you need to do is buy a transport card at the 7-Eleven, so that was super easy, um, and it was inexpensive. The card comes loaded with $5, and traveling here, which was a couple of stops, was 77 cents, so that's good. Um, but I'm walking back, because I want to see this street, which is one of the most uh, popular for shopping and stuff, so I just want to have a look around. Don't accuse me of comparing it to Dubai too much, but this is similar to Dubai in the fact that you can find anything and this, everything is very convenient and designed in a way that is there to make you spend your money. But that being said, I find that it has more charm than Dubai, possibly because the way it's developed over time has been slower. Uh, um, keep in mind also that with the climate and everything, Dubai is in the middle of the desert, whereas here you get a much more temperate um, tropical climate. I mean, it's just beautiful. And the fact that it's also in Asia, you know, that pulls my strings. Okay, so I've just spent the last hour and a half in the uh, National Museum of Singapore, which tells a story about the city-state. Uh, it was very interesting to, uh, to hear and read all about this. Um, there's currently a night festival going on right now, so that's why there are so many lights around. Uh, but I'm just walking over to another museum, which is uh, half price on Friday evenings. So I'm just trying to go there now. I think I'll probably have some food after the museum. Yeah, just had a great time and it's, it's really good to hear about the story of this place. It's such an intricate story between uh, the relationship to the British because it used to be a colony. Uh, it's fascinating that first 
vestige, the first antiquities found here, date from the 14th century, nothing from before that. So it's a mo relatively modern history. Great time at the uh, Asian Civilizations Museum. I stayed about an hour and a half there and I left uh, maybe a couple of minutes before closing. So I'm starving and I'm exhausted now. I'm gonna head over to find some food and then head back. Uh, today was a very highly cultural day, but a very great day. The apartment is in that building over there, and then these are the restaurants. Walking across the river, I'm walking to meet up my friends uh, Natalie and Chinjin. We actually met, uh, along with the rest of the uh, Korean crew kids, that took me out uh, back in Seoul. And uh, since they are Singaporeans, they live here. Uh, I thought I would connect with them and maybe they can show me around. So they're a little bit late, so instead of taking the metro, I'm gonna walk there. It's a beautiful day, super hot, thankfully a little bit of wind. Uh, and I have a, a short half hour walk to get to the meeting point. Finally met. And this thing that looks like the Jedi Council. So is this Arab street or what's the name of this street? Haji Ling. Arab street, I think, is the one, the street, like, next to me. Oh. So I'm here with Natalie and Shinji. Shin. Back from Korea. <laughs> This is like a Chinese complex. There's a lot of shops and different things. It's fascinating. Uh, Asian snacks, including these chili tapiocas. Uh, we're gonna go and visit the Chinese temple. It's interesting because we're not in Chinatown, but we're walking around in Chinese streets and shops and we're going for dessert now. And it's Singapore, so there's a queue. Like Xi Jin would say, the food coma is real. <laughs> So this robot is triggered by this app and it draws on the floor. Just 
still in the museum, but look at this guy. Here in the Chom Chom Food Center, enjoying some uh, Chom Chom food. So all of these are all different shops and different stalls and then you just sit in the middle and order from whichever places and they come and bring it to your table. That's awesome. Shinjin agrees. <laughs> it is a quarter past one and I am working in a park. Yeah, after the day out yesterday I thought today I would start my day by yeah, walking around and, and finding a park and finding some organic space outside of the city. It is super hot today, very humid, um, very, uh, I mean the clouds are essentially above me right now. It was raining when I was in town, now that I moved outside of town. I can't tell whether the rain is catching up to me or heading back. I think it's catching up to me though. to go on the other way where this place called Henderson Waves is uh, apparently there's like a panorama there's an amazing bridge a couple of things to check out um, but I realized that there's a peak over there so I'm walking there towards the peak and then I'll get to Henderson Waves because uh, the other side is also where I'm planning to get off to uh, to grab a metro and head back so yeah slight change but um it's just beautiful here, it's just blazing hot. I'm hiding under the trees. So the rain seems to be over there. Yeah, at first I thought maybe it's gonna be light rain, like it's not gonna <laughs> stop me too much. Like it's just gonna, you know, a few raindrops and then I can go, but nope. <laughs> maybe? Yeah. <laughs> After the epic fail, that was me trying to go on a hike. In, uh, in the rain. I uh, stayed oh, at the apartment for a little bit before going uh, to the movies to see the Annabelle horror movie. Uh, and I am now with the Marina Bay Sands in my back. I'm trying to go around, so I'm supposed to find a bridge. Very beautiful and highly well designed and the architecture here is insane. It has this capacity to make you feel so small though. Have a look at this. This is an all behind me and then if you look around the back, financial center and then we've got the bay. Today is Tuesday, it is 20 past 11. I am gonna go to the airport now. You can see my stuff behind me. I am ready to go. My flight is not until a quarter to 4 p.m. So that leaves me about four and a half hours, but everyone talks about how the airport in Singapore is kind of crazy and awesome and a lot of fun. So I wanna go and see if I can explore it myself. A couple of updates, it is 12, so it's been half an hour since I left. Uh, I managed to get here, drop my bag, uh, so now I have three hours ahead of me to have lunch and uh, explore, so I'm not sure what to do. I think the cool stuff is beyond immigration, so I just need to figure out whether the restaurants are better inside or outside. And I've just, just gone through immigration, that took me literally a minute and a half. Um, well done, Singapore. You do things well. Uh, but how cool is that, though? There's an orchid garden right under me. Yes, I am at the airport in the transit area. There's just one side. There's stuff everywhere here. Man, everything is huge and awesome here. Like these giant screens and giant seats. Um, I'm looking for some food now. 
So I am currently in the food court and I am going to stuff myself. The way it works is pretty smart. You have uh, a self-order kiosk where you can see everything and then you can pay by cash, or card or anything else. And then just wait for your number. And it's shown on this screen. Don't give up when your heart stops and you turn. 